Hi everyone. Let's solve this question. This is Go classes weekly quiz three discrete mathematics question from propositional logic. If f1, f2, f3, these are propositional formula. These are propositional expressions over some set of propositional variable such that f1 and f2 implies f3. This is a contradiction. Then, then which of the following is necessarily true? Which of which statement is necessarily true? So the question is very simple. F1, F2, F3. These are propositional formula. F1, F2, F3. Okay. So we have three propositional formula over some set of propositional variable. We don't know what are the propositional variable. Okay. So like it does not matter. What are the propositional variable? We don't know. Okay. So for example, if there are ten propositional variable, then there will be two power ten rows in the truth table. If there are five propositional variable, then there will be thirty two rows in the truth table. So anyway. That uh, anyway, what I can say, I can say that so we have a propositional formula f1, f2, f3, and the question is saying that f1, f2 implies f3. Okay, f1, f2 implies f3. This is contradiction. The question is saying that this f1, f f2 implies f3. This is contradiction. Means this is contradiction. So means for every row in the truth table, for every row in the truth table, for every row in the truth table, this is false, false, false. False, false, and so on. So, okay, for every row, this is a false, false, false. Now the question is saying, what can you say about f1, f2, f3? What can you say? Notice that this is a false. This is a false. So what should happen for any combination? Just okay, just just pick a combination and check. For any combination, you just check. For any combination, you just check. What should happen for any combination? For any combination, remember, I can say that for this combination, for this combination. This must be false. If this must be false, then what should happen? F3 must be false, right? So here F F3 must be false. Definitely F3 must be false, and this should be true. This should be false. Okay, definitely this should be true. This should be false. So I can say for any combination, F1, F2 must be true. For any combination, whatever com whatever row you take, for any row in the truth table, what should happen? So I can say for any row. For every row, or I can say, for every row in the truth table, what should happen? Okay, so for every row in the truth table, for every row in the truth table, what should happen? I can say that in every row, f1, f2 must be true. This must be true. In every row, this must be false. Because in every row, in because in every row, what should happen? In every row, f1, f2 implies f3 must be contradiction. Okay, so this must be false in every row. This must be false. And what it means? If this is false, then it means that this is false and this is true. So for every row, this should happen. Every row, this should happen. That f1, f2 is true. Okay, so f1, f2 is true. When it is possible, tell me. F1, f2 is true. When it is possible. F1, f2 is true. When it is possible. So for every row, f1 is true. And F2 is it true for every row? Whatever you row you take, they must be true true. They must be true true. Whatever row you take, they must be true true. And this is false 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 and so on. So finally, I can say that definitely F1 must be tautology. F2 must be tautology. Okay, and F3 must be contradiction. F1 tautology. F2 tautology. F3 contradiction. So necessarily true. F3 is contradiction. That's correct. Okay, that's correct. Both f1, f2 are tautology. That's correct. The conjunction f1, f2 is tautology. That's correct because if f1 is tautology, f2 is tautology, then the conjunction will also be a tautology. f1, f2, f3 all are contradiction. This is not correct. So answer this is a MSQ question, and for this answer will be option A, B, C. Okay, so A, B, C. This is the correct answer for this question. Okay.